Though no one was seriously hurt, the fire gutted the super and completely destroyed the bridge. There's now no means of controlling the ship, and even the ship's lifeboat was damaged. One of the joint owners, Erwin Meister, flew from Geneva this morning to check the damage, and he reckons it will cost £20,000 to put it right. Fortunately, only two cabins were destroyed. The other end of the ship, including those of the six or seven Dutch and English DJs. One of them, Crispin St. John, described what happened last night. It was suddenly heard a bang, and it was louder than a usual bang when the tender hits the side of the boat. And also, at that time of night, you don't expect a tender to arrive, especially on you know, at the sea when it's foggy. So my first reaction with the other members of the crew was to rush straight up on deck of the ship and look round. Well, I looked round this end of the boat, the front end, and uh, didn't see anything. But apparently, other members from the, at the back saw a boat rushing away, a small motorboat, apparently. And um, they said this, and then suddenly uh, there's a shout, so the engine room was on fire. And, uh, of course, we just waited to see what was going to happen. The captain, after about a few minutes, um, notified and said we had to put out a mayday call. Uh, which had, was done over the medium wave, short wave, and FM transmitters of the station. You know, it's uh, very hectic. You know, I don't remember it absolutely too clearly. I'm just about remembering now. You know, exactly what went on. It's just very shocked, I think. You know, there can't be many DJs who've had to abandon their stations and go and sit in the rubber dinghy. <laughs> I, I, well, thankfully, no. <laughs> what was it like, in fact? Uh, were you particularly worried when you got off? Well, the we could see the fire, and it was just glowing red. Um, it was the best thing to do. There's no, there's no other choice. Um, I was a bit worried, I suppose, but uh, I, I didn't realise it at the time. The last time a DJ here was when a boarding party, allegedly from the nearby pirate ship Veronica, tried to tow their ship away. The Veronica, the veteran pop pirate ship of Europe, has a transmitter of only 8 kilowatts, compared with this ship's one of 60 kilowatts. And last March, the Veronica's owners tried unsuccessfully to get a Rotterdam court to order Mebo 2 to stop broadcasting. But the DJs here are still cheerful, and last night's fire hasn't stopped their programs. Nor will it, for this pirate radio ship won't be putting into port for repairs. They'll all be done at sea, safely outside Dutch territorial waters. Desmond Hamill, ITN, off the Dutch coast.